Hello right, guys, welcome back. Today we are going to take a look at the Fleet Guard WF2087 coolant filter. So this is a bit of a different one. Obviously wrapped up in plastic like a lot of the Fleet Guard stuff. Nice and sealed. So we got on the Fleet Guard WF287, the part number, barcode, instructions like normal. Date code on the bottom, made in Mexico. So this is a corner filter off. Uh, it's heavy duty equipment. I think it's used on a lot of Ford and New Holland tractors, some older generations. But this particular filter is one that is a coolant conditioner as well, so it contains some additive tablets called the DCA4 Plus tablets. And what they do is, on heavy equipment and that, they use a certain type of coolant, and essentially the Glycol level remains the same in a lot of the coolant, which does the cooling, antifreeze, anti boil job, and that's fine. But a lot of the other additives, like the corrosion inhibitor and stuff that prevents liner pitting and all that sort of stuff, does dissipate throughout the life of the coolant. So a lot of manufacturers, such as Cummins and and companies like that have got coolant filters like this that you put on and it's got tablets in it that add those additives back in so that coolant will last longer and you won't have to flush the whole system which in a truck and stuff like that can be you know 100 over 100 litres which is obviously a lot and coolant's not that cheap so this is a filter as well as a coolant conditioner so looking forward to see what's in there and it's got some tablets in there. It's quite heavy for the size of it, to give you an idea. It's 620 grams, so it's got quite a bit of weight in it. It's be very interesting to see what we've got in here. So right off the bat, I obviously notices this little rubber plug it's just it just stops right there must be to keep Let's see if we can get it yeah so under there you can see normal coolant filter just the threads in the outlet hole so this must just be to stop whatever's in there coming out or stuff getting in and all that so yeah that plug in terms of the seal a nice big chunky seal there nice and soft it's got a little bit of powder on to lubricate it and in terms of the way it sits in there very nice no, it's not going to fall out. Just got a bit of additive stuff there. So we'll get that lid cut off this and have a look see what's actually in here. Alright guys, I've got it cut open. And just before we take it apart, I should also mention there's two types of um, additives that can be in these. Uh, well, there's lots of different types of additives, but essentially there's ones that are slow release, so they'll slowly dissolve over the life of the filter, and then slowly add in what the coolant needs, and then there's ones that are instant release, so it just automatically mixes in as soon as you put the filter on. This is a instant release additive type filter, so we'll have a look. 
Change the device plight. Nice mega wire holes. Got three or four threads. This stuff here, that's just for me cutting open the filter. It's not got a whole lot of thickness to it, but it is designed as a corn filter. It doesn't necessarily have to handle the high pressure of an engine oil filter. So that's probably just fine within the design spec of it all. And base plate. There we go. Got a nice can, as always. To f this Fleet Guard can is quite hard to open. Yeah, nice thick can. We got about point point nine, close to one mil. It's very thick. That's certainly. Very robust. It's not going anywhere. Damps of spring. Got a nice, decent coil spring. Sits in the bottom. Sits in there nice. That's good. All good quality components you'd expect from a fleet guard filter. And what do we got here? Closed off completely at the bottom. Spring sits in there. Metal end caps. Got the little restricting uh, orifice there, which is normal for corner filters. Uh, and then just this cellulose media. The stuff must be inside there, so we'll cut out this media. And let's see what we've got on the inside there. Alright, so I've got the media cut out. There's a fair decent amount. There's about 1.9 metres in there. And about... Just under 70... 70 million length. To me, this just looks like the... The standard old... Fleet Guard cellulose. Nothing wrong with that. We'll put a quick bit under the microscope and have a look. But, um, yeah, nothing fancy there. Just good old filter media. There's a fair decent amount in there for the middle width of the filter. Put some under the microscope now. Alright, so there's the Media under the microscope, this looks like fairly standard to me. No issues with that. Now, the canister itself. Pretty well enclosed, like, and there's not many filter through holes. Which, and I'll say, clean the, the orifice. Ooh. That end cap just fell off. Doesn't look like it's glued that much, just to be held in with the spring. <coughs> we got our immediate <coughs> release dosage of DCA4. Right, try if I can tip that into there. And this stuff's fairly solid. So I 
So that's pretty well packed in there, the whole filter. Pretty much full to the brim. So there's our additive in terms of our can. Still, obviously still some down in there. But you can see the inlet holes to the inside of the can. And then that through the outlet hole is very solid core. Nice crimp there. The pleach spacing is very nice there. And they've got a decent amount of glue, but not overfilled. So the filter part itself is just good, as you'd expect from a fleet guard. And now I've got all this stuff. So as I said, that thing is pretty much packed full. There's quite a bit of this stuff in there. Let's see what happens. I've got uh, some water. Keep out some of this stuff and just see what happens when they just turn me up a bit there. So the appears to be dissolving fairly quickly so bubbling bubbling up and going away so I've done this in the morning I'm going to leave this glass here with this stuff in it and then we'll come back at the end of the day. See if this is all dissolved and what it's like. Well, I don't have to wait that long actually. It's pretty well. If that was mixed up in a cooling system. You know, with the water pump going. And... So I think if this was a non-immediate release one one that was had tablets they're like a wax coated and they uh, take a while to dissolve so they're at a controlled rate but this stuff just dissolves pretty quick anyway I'll leave that there we'll catch up so how we go, but in terms of the filter, it's a good stuff. Nice solid components, nice media. Put you down here again. Uh, yeah. So that's what's inside a Fleet Guard immediate release DCA4 coolant filter. Here we go. Okay, so we've been here. So this has been soaking for about 12 hours now. Yeah. The, uh, doesn't seem to have quite fully dissolved. They're still a bit in the bottom. So even though it's an immediate release um, additive, I think, It'll still take a while to go, but you know, this has been sitting here. I haven't really stirred it around or anything. If it was in a, a moving cooling system with, you know, water pump going, everything moving around, it would probably, and heat as well, it would probably dissolve a lot quicker. So there's that, there you have it.